Hey there, how you feeling? We sure hope you're doing well. I'm Anna Coyman. This is Fox and Friends. Lawmakers may be enjoying their Christmas vacation, but for 1.3 million Americans, this is anything but a vacation. Tomorrow, they will lose federal unemployment benefits, but will uh, renewing those benefits keep the unemployed unemployed? For a fair and balanced debate, we are joined now by senior economics writer for The Wall Street Journal, Stephen Moore, and Democratic strategist Zerlina Maxwell. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Zerlina, I'll start with you. Um, you think it's a bad idea for them to end, but what's going to stop somebody from just continuing to be on these benefits when they don't have to work and they're getting handouts from the government? Well, one of the requirements to get unemployment insurance is to actively look for work. And economists have, have said that when you cut off these benefits, many of these folks will drop out of the labor force entirely. We need to create more jobs and put more stimulus back into the economy so that businesses and families are more secure. Cutting off benefits is the exact wrong way to handle this. Well, Stephen, I mean, you say just the opposite. You say that's actually going to hurt the economy and it's going to stop a stimulus. Well, look, I think everybody wants to help people who have become unemployed or laid off in their job. And, and there's no question we want a safety net for those kind of people. Let's, let's be clear about what we're talking about. Under President Obama, we have extended unemployment benefits to people from 18 to, months to as much as two years of unemployment benefits. I don't have a problem. I don't think most of the viewers have a problem with giving someone, say, three or six months of benefits so they can get their, uh, their feet back under them. But mm -hmm. two years of benefits, what we found, and the evidence is very clear on this, people don't start really looking for a job until those benefits run out. And so we're actually encouraging people to stay unemployed and not look for a job because because they get these government benefits. Yeah, maybe they're waiting until after the holidays, spend, spend some time with the family, and then they'll start spending their time looking for a but job. But you know what? It's, it's, not, it's not fair to the people who are working that they have to pay taxes to people who aren't. And by the way, a lot of the people, no, no. it is a rule yeah. that you're supposed to fi be looking for a job, but they don't enforce that at all. And so a lot of the, everyone knows people who are unemployed yeah. who don't start looking for a job yeah. until their benefits run out. Yeah. And Zerlina, you know what? There are people who need to be on unemployment uh, for sure, right? right. So right. what's the amount of time that, that they should be allowed to stay on while they're looking for a job? Well, I think that we need a multi-prong approach. I think that we need to create jobs, but I think that there shouldn't be a cutoff for when you cut off someone's finances so that they can feed their family. I think that if you are required to look for work to get these benefits, then you should get the benefits you paid into the system. And people will drop out of the labor force. All economists agree on that. I think it's very insensitive to cut off people's lifeline when they need it the most. And, and it, it won't stimulate growth in the economy. Okay. Well, Stephen, our, our producers have given me this stat that uh, during the Great Recession, um, that the, the average duration of unemployment was raised by 7%. Yep. Um, and, right. that, and that caused unemployment to increase by 0.4 percentage points. So, I mean, if history is a judge, what do we need to be doing today? Well, the, your, your statistician is exactly right. The more we've extended unemployment benefits, the longer people have stayed unemployed. So, in fact, the unemployment insurance system has actually encouraged and, and created higher unemployment in this country. So I do think it's time to, to taper back on the number of weeks of benefits. And my, my goodness, we do need a jobs program. We, you know, there's no question there aren't enough jobs in this economy. We need okay. to be cutting taxes. We need to get rid of regulation. We need to, you know, produce uh, energy. All of these these things would create jobs. And by the way, those are things the president has been mostly against. All right, Stephen and Zerlina, I apologize. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you for the debate there. Thank you.